A nearly two-year fight for answers after an unarmed man was gunned down in the doorway of a Springfield home is over for now. The family of John Gear has reached an almost $3 million settlement with Fairfax County over his shooting death in 2013. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Jeff Goldberg is live with what he's learned about this. Jeff? Well, Maureen, negotiations over the settlement began in early March, resulting with Fairfax County's Fairfax County attorney and the Gear family attorney agreeing to that number of $2.95 million announced earlier today. This entire situation began with a call about a domestic dispute at this townhome here in Springfield. And now this chapter, this painful chapter, comes to a close with what is, according to the Gear family attorney, the largest police shooting-related settlement in Virginia state history. Nearly two years after the fatal shooting of John Gear, It was a horrible tragedy all the way around. Those who watched it unfold still remember the moment. But neighbors like Heidi Ashbaugh hope that today's settlement... I think it's wonderful. ...will bring the family some sense of peace. I think they deserve it. It was um, totally botched by the police. On August 29, 2013, Gear, a 46-year-old father of two daughters, was shot and killed by Fairfax police officer Adam Torres during a standoff at Gear's home. At the time of the shooting, Gear's hands were resting at the top of his door entryway, and he was not armed. A wrongful death civil suit was filed against Fairfax police chief Ed Rossler, leading to today's settlement of $2.95 million. I am pleased that a fair settlement has been reached, said Board of Supervisors Chair Sharon Bulova, and I hope this may bring some measure of closure to the family of John Gear. There's never going to be closure for the, for the family. Gear family attorney Mike Lieberman believes the deal will help provide for Gear's two daughters. His girls are everything to him. But says money will never heal the pain. Can never be a satisfying resolution of this case because John's not with us. Now, well, this does end the civil case. The possibility, or rather the investigation into Adam Torres continues, as well as the possibility of criminal charges. Now, I spoke earlier today with Don Gear, John Gear's father. He remains very frustrated and pained by how Fairfax police have handled the entire situation. He said to me, quote, I have spent over 500 nights lying in bed wondering why this happened. Live in Springfield, Jeff Goldberg, ABC 7 News.